Hi there, it's Dr. Bob Flower, and this is uh, your Monday, uh, April 16th, uh, Master Pattern Report, the, the day of infamy, tax day. Um, how lucky we all are to be um, in a position where we are paying our fair share. Um, hi, folks. Well, let's talk about uh, let's talk about business first. Let's talk about the market first, then economics and things of that sort. Okay, um, a, uh, we're expecting uh, a move in silver here. We think uh, we were uh, expecting it uh, sometime by last Friday. It looks like it might be starting today. Um, you know, and one of the, one of the things that I've often said about um, uh, the master pattern and um, quote knowing the future is that it's not what it's cranked up to be. Uh, you know, uh, saying that uh, silver or gold or the stock market or whatever is going to go up on a particular day really doesn't mean much, uh, even if you're 100% accurate. And, and the reason is this, where's it going to go up from? Uh, you know, if the market is at, uh, or stock is at 100 now, and it drops down to 80, and you say that on a particular day it's going to be up, and on that day it was 80, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it was 100, but then it dropped down to 80, and then the next day it went up to 90, um, you're not in a very good position if you bought it at 100. Um, and, and that's 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 a trap that I've uh, personally fallen into a number of times. So uh, uh, what I'm saying is that Again, uh, be advised that uh, uh, unless otherwise, uh, our calls are on a daily basis, a specific date to show that there is a definite pattern uh, and that it is able to be captured. Uh, however, if we're talking about term um, uh, movements, uh, that's, that's something a little different. And unless we say otherwise, unless we tell you that we expect gold to uh, continue up for the next 10 days, two months, or into the end of the year. Um, uh, please be mindful that, that our calls are based on the um, uh, specific date uh, or dates that we, we project, okay? Um, the, the market is definitely uh, weakening here. It came um, a couple of weeks earlier than, when, than what we had thought we originally in the beginning of the year had said that April would be the month, uh, but we thought it was going to come, it looked like it's going to come towards the uh, uh, the end of, uh, of April, and it's still May. You know, the market may bounce up a little bit here, um, but it, it definitely, it, it, in accordance with the mist pen, it looks like it, it, it has gotten weaker, and the patterns that we're looking at are more negative uh, than they are positive. So. I would say that we're about 65% on the downtrend right now. Now, I want to talk to you about silver because I know a lot of, a lot of you folks out there are, are, have keen interest in silver. Um, we do expect it to be up uh, today and maybe the next three, four, five days um, uh, on, on average uh, and perhaps into the end of the month. Um, but uh, we suggest uh, that you, you, you proceed with caution here. Uh, we may not have seen the bottom of the silver market. And I know that I had told you uh, last month that we were looking at $26. That hasn't gone away. Um, and and that, that, that's still, that pattern is still floating around in cyberspace and uh, maybe coming to, uh, to, uh, a, a realization uh, uh, in, in the near future. Um, so be careful uh, and be advised. Uh, uh, th these commodities are, um, are, are, are going to be experiencing some problems here. Uh, and that even includes oil. Uh, I think that uh, uh, setting aside anything with the uh, the Gulf and the Gulf War or or you know Iraq Iran rather uh, and and those issues there um, 
there looks to be more deflation coming than inflation. And, and yet, uh, it, 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 I think a more accurate term would be stagflation, where you have certain um, um, commodities, uh, certain goods that are dropping in value, while other costs are escalating in value. So you have the worst of both worlds, deflation and inflation at the same time. And we saw that back in the 70s. It first, first came up in the 70s. And this, uh, these patterns that we're looking at now seem to be doing just that, They're generating a, 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 a stagflation. In some areas, prices will be going up. In other areas, they will be going down. And um, we, we don't see the do dollar getting any weakening. In fact, we have a sneaking suspicion that the, uh, the Fed is going to hit us with another um, uh, we will save you um, uh, expenditure here. I think that they're going to uh, um, to hit us with a, with a, with a, with a rather large um, uh, increase in, um, in, um, in support. Uh, and I, I don't think that while that's good for the stock market, I, I don't, it's not certainly not good for everything else. And it, 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 that may cause uh, our, uh, our commodities to, to, uh, to drop through the floor here. Um, and unless, unless um, the dollar really takes a beating, which I, I don't expect that to happen just yet, it, 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 it's coming, but not just yet. Don't forget, this is a presidential election year, and things are going to be twisted and turned uh, out of reality, and um, things are going to be, um, you know, in vogue that are going to make things look much different than what they really are underlying. So, so a, a word of caution here. One thing I'm going to tell you that and um, uh, about is is uh, again is real estate. I am definitely, definitely seeing signs of a bottom here. Now, does that mean that that's the absolute bottom, that it won't drop another 5 or 6 or 7 percent? Um, no, no, it may in certain areas, but we're definitely seeing a buy, a, a bottom here. We're seeing more invest, investors coming into the market, you know, knowledgeable people, good size, good size uh, uh, companies and um, uh, funds. Uh, coming in, um, uh, people from other, other parts of the world investing. So I would say that if you have had any interest in buying real estate and were concerned um, that this would be a fairly good time to start dipping your toe in the water, especially if you're looking for something to buy for yourself. This could be a, 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 a co-op or a condo can be an excellent time to, 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 to buy uh, with, without fear of, of the market really falling apart. The, the prices are, 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 are down significantly. The rates are down. If you can qualify, uh, I don't think you're going to get uh, hurt, especially those who of you who are in your 20s or 30s or 40s and, and even uh, early 50s. Uh, you know, 10 years from now, uh, and I can tell you from my own personal experience, things look a little hectic right now, but 10, 12 years from now, uh, market comes back, it doesn't have to go nuts, just come, get back to uh, to where it was, and voila, you know, you, you, you got yourself a nice uh, nice nest, nest egg. Just don't make the same mistakes that, that uh, many people made uh, this time um, in, in uh, using, using up their equity to have fun with. That's really not what it's there for. It's there for to to give you security for your future, um, and uh, th those uh, people who uh, did not go crazy with uh, refinancing and um, home equity lines and using them, using up all the equity are, are can still get well here. Can still be in uh, in good condition. Okay. So um, we are still um, uh, we're still calling for up uh, in uh, in silver here, uh, uh, like I said, uh, and that 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 
that pattern may last for another uh, uh, five to ten days, um, perhaps a little longer. Uh, we don't think that while the market may make a little bit of a run here, uh, we think it's better to uh, be on the downside than on the upside. Uh, and the average there is like maybe 60% to the downside, 40% to the upside. Um, uh, interest rates, uh, <laughs> they've got the crap kicked out of them. So uh, watch for a, a severe bounce in these things. Uh, uh, those TBTs are around uh, almost 19, a little under 19. Uh, last week they were over to 20 and a half, 23 quarters. Well, we'll we think we'll see them return to that, if not a little higher, around the 20, uh, 23 uh, level, perhaps. Uh, so, so be mindful of that. Um, insofar as the economy itself, um, I continue to harbor on the fact that uh, this administration is clueless, clueless. Uh, these people are dumb, dumb. I don't call people intelligent that uh, know history or uh, understand uh, communications and language um, and are superior at it. I, I, I don't, th those, that's not intelligence. You know, intelligence, the, a universal definition of intelligence and one which I, I based my, my facts and uh, all of my concepts on, uh, is one that states that intelligence is the ability to recognize information and put it into an overall concept, an overall package. Where does it belong and how does it belong there? And the, the, the problem that uh, the um, that the liberal mind and here he goes again folks he's a radical the problem with the liter with the, with the liberal mind and, and we're talking about laws of potential now uh, is that uh, they they have this this level of intelligence but they have no uh, and knowledge they have a lot of knowledge let, 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 let me let me retract what I just said about intelligence, about their intelligence. They have knowledge and they have a great level of knowledge, but they have no level of understanding that's meaningful, okay? Hence, their intelligence, as according to the laws of potential, sucks, all right? And that's the reason why. It's not that they're not smart, folks. They are smart. The way they apply it, the things that they try to accomplish with it, um, and, and if you come up with um, an answer and you're not a liberal mind, um, you're attacked. You know, just like we were attacked two weeks ago by an enclave of uh, liberal uh, thinking, uh, not only on our website but on our blog and um, on uh, some some shows, some other shows, radio shows, and whatnot. Um, they have to be the heroes. They have to be the saviors, regardless of what. And they're not. They're not at all because they don't come up with answers. They come up with rules. They come up with laws. They come up with history that says that this is the way uh, things were. But they don't understand. The, the, the thinking that made history what it was, that's the problem. They don't understand their own think. They don't look at their own thinking. They won't allow themselves to look at their own thinking. And that's a major difference between the liberal mind and the conservative mind. The liberal mind absolutely refuses to look at itself. The conservative mind will look at itself. Um, I'm not saying that they're, they're willing to bend it or correct it. That's, that's another issue. But they are willing to, to look at it and to understand arguments uh, concerning it. And hence, uh, the dichotomy here of being conservative uh, um, extends to the point of th th that because of that, the, the conservative mind is actually liberal. 
that, that they're open to to uh, less restriction, for instance. Uh, you know, smaller government. Why smaller government? Uh, so they can get away with more? No. So, so there'll be less corruption. There'll be less inefficiency. And this GSA thing, I mean, that that's that's a prime example of what we're talking about here. Um, you know, this this is where uh, this is where a, a big government goes wrong. Uh, I, I think it was uh, one of the congressmen was on television over the weekend. They said they're going to look to uh, to abolish the GSA. We don't need it. Great, that's another what twelve billion dollars a year that we'll save. Uh, uh, Romney wants to get rid of uh, the Department of Education and uh, uh, and, and HUD. Um, and that's that's twenty five, twenty six billion dollars uh, each. It's fine with me. That, that, that's great. That's what we need. Those are those are departments that uh, that we have. Uh, I mean, we we can easily get rid of uh, uh, pare down the government by a hundred billion dollars, uh, and uh, uh, get these freeloaders um, out into uh, into the real marketplace. Let them go out and find a job, a real job. Uh, after all, the way they're spending our money, forget about it. And and I'm not, uh, I, I'm not one to be to be hard on people. I think I, I have a compassionate feeling for people, but uh, this is ridiculous. Uh, and the attacks that they're putting us through right now, I mean, it's, just, it's okay with me. Uh, it's just drawing attention to um, to a great cause uh, and a great program, uh, the laws of potential. Uh, and, 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 and I'm willing to debate this with, with these people at any point in time. I mean, they, they, it seems like their claim of fame is that uh, they're history buffs. So what? How do you think this country got so great? It wasn't because of liberal thinking. It was because of concepts like rugged individualism. So now we've gone from rugged individualism to the Pink Panther. Wusses, okay, Mamby Pamby, or whatever else you want to call it, type thinking. Now, now that, and rugged individualism meant that you had to slug it out. You had to reach down inside and and create the things that you needed. And now that things are bad, oh look at those terrible uh, people did did this to our country and it's unfair. No kidding. No kidding. Life is certainly unfair. Nobody ever said it was fair. Nobody ever said, in fact, they, they, they did say, you know, the Bible says, you know, you, unless you carry your own cross, you, you cannot know me. That's what it is. That's where, we're, where we are at. We're at a very severe crisis in, in our history. You know, what are we going to do? We're going to now rewrite the Constitution. We're going to rewrite economics because of what's going on right now. How do you think we got here? And I'm not talking about 2009 or 2011 or 12. I'm talking about for the past 240 years. Look at what we started with, and look at where where what we've progressed to. I mean, people. Forget that the, the the end of the first uh, Bush two term, uh, the last two years and the first two years of his second term, we saw the greatest uh, impact in uh, real estate um, prices and wealth that we've ever seen in this nation's history. Come on, and that was and everybody was realizing that, uh, rich and poor alike. Okay, but it fell apart because it, because the, the government wasn't watching, because there were greedy people uh, who, who, uh, who, who ruined it, and because a lot of us, private citizens, misunderstood and based our, our, our concept of wealth on, on a, um, a formula that uh, was not quite valid, and that is that, oh, real estate goes up forever. It, there's, there's no cyclicality to it, and that's not true. There's a definite, real estate has a 37-year cycle, 
37 year cycle and it's broken down generally into four, four parts. 9.3 years. And go back for as much as, as you know, past 10, 15, 25 years, uh, 35 years, and, and look look at the real estate cycles. And you'll see that uh, it, it is very, very close to that 9.3 year cycle that, 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 that things happen in real estate. And uh, by the way, according to that, uh, we should be coming out of this uh, um, sometime around 2016, uh, meaning that we'll be on an upswing. Now, whether that's going to be a dramatic upswing, I, I don't think so. I think we'll have to go through a couple more cycles before that that evolves again, if, if we survive economically. But the way we're spending money, uh, we've got some serious problems coming up, folks, and you don't need me to tell you that. You, you know that yourself. But once again, um, um, the, the, this administration is clueless, and um, I'm going to be back in New York uh, the, the the end of April, and I'm, I'm preparing a broadcast which is going to deal with um, with this 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 clue, clueless and hapless uh, state of our our current administration, and um, uh, this will I think will put things in proper perspective, and I'm. Uh, I'm also going to address the um, uh, the conservative mind, in so far as uh, you, you know the Bushes and 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 the Romneys and whatnot, and uh, this this concept of um, of staid uh, aristocratic um, old school type of of thinking, uh, which has. Um, been um, uh, allied or analogous to to the uh, Republican establishment. Um, so we're go we're going to address those things. We're going to look at those things, and uh, we're, we're going to see uh, where things have gone wrong in, in both instances. And um, again, where where we can uh, hopefully set things uh, set things right. Um, good, clear thinking from people like you. And input and dialogue um, is is vital to uh, us all being um, uh, part of uh, a, a successful um, uh, conclusion to uh, to this mess that we're in. Um, but we need to push we need to push our, our administrators, our elected officials, um, uh, throw out the ones that have been there too long because they, you know power. Corruption, uh, control—these are all things that uh, that these people are are, are trying to uh, uh, trying to promote. Uh, okay, listen. So I think that's it for this week. Uh, we will uh, be broadcasting still next week from Arizona, um, and then uh, after that we'll be back in uh, in New York, and uh, we'll have some more charts and. Uh, and, and I have a, a, a rather unique system I, I'm working out uh, for, uh, for, for uh, swing detections uh, on, on the market using the master pattern. And I'll, I'll, I'll share that with you um, as soon as I get back into New York. And I sure hope that you have a great day. Have a good one.